Hey everyone, welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today I have a small haul for you. Okay, maybe it's a little bit bigger of a haul, but it's a fun haul anyway. This was our Saturday and I just wanted to share with you, so let me show you. This is the mess that is my haul right now. This is what my dining room looks like. Uh, it's It ain't pretty right now. Let me show you what I got. We did go up north and get this haul. This is something that we find a deal in our city. This is not in any other city. This is a small mom and pop shop. Um, and they offer a haul for, it used to be $52. The price did go up to $67 this time. Still a pretty good price for $67, everything that we got. So the price did increase. I'm not gonna mention the name of the store, so um, it is a tiny little place. I don't want them overwhelmed, especially since it it's not a chain. It's just a tiny little place. You can check your area to see if you can find deals like this. Um, I happened to come up on this one and they've been doing it for a couple of years now. So we go up there occasionally and, and get a haul. That way we can share with the kids. And as soon as I'm done filming this, this will get divvied up and get sent to the kids' houses. And I'm gonna share with the neighbors as well. First thing, I got all of this cauliflower. I'm super excited about it. I will probably freeze it. So I'm gonna take this apart and freeze it um, just in time for I was gonna make some cauliflower soup. So I'm excited to have some of that. I will probably um, give some to the kids too if the kids want some cauliflower. I got these three snack boxes and since this is open, it is full of Smart Pop. So this will get divvied up also. another box of a bunch of snacks so in this box there are chewy granola bars rice krispie treats and it had some cheeses but the cheeses ended up over there on top of the fruit kind of spilled in the car ride this is a case of oh yeah lettuce this is iceberg lettuce i have a case of snap peas Those are gonna get frozen. I have two little cases of coconut water, so I'm excited about those. That is something I buy on <laughs> one box of pasta here. A case of root beer. I'll just stick that in the storage. And then this is a plant-based energy tea. That is going to the kids. I would never drink an energy drink. Um, organic coconut crispy rollers. These are something I actually do buy, so I was excited to get those. They're an excellent snack. Here is a box of mangoes and lemons. The cheese crackers ended up on top of them, and a couple of mushrooms. These are already sliced. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the food dehydrator. Over here, I have one, two, three, four cases of lettuce. This is what I mean. The lettuce is gonna get divided up. Over here, this is a case of broccoli, so that will get that broccoli will get frozen. More broccoli here. Mm, more lettuce here. Yeah, this was a total lettuce haul. That is more lettuce. And over here, if you go inside their little store, they have a whole bunch of discounted items. These were on a table for a dollar a piece, and they are sunscreen. So I got SPF 30, SPF 50. I've got a whole bunch of sunscreen in here. Um, they had some hairspray, even though this is not something I normally use, this VO5 hairspray, it was a dollar. So I bought it to stock my cupboard. I think I got two or three of those. Um, bottles of lotion, again, not something I normally use, but for a dollar, St. Ives lotion, um, and shaving cream. Shaving cream's for a dollar. So I did get a bunch of that. I did get candy. This is C's candy, dark chocolate. This is normally, I don't know, if I can't remember if it's 20 or $30, um, but I got these for $5. So I grabbed two boxes of those. More sunscreen in that bag there. This is a box of vegan crackers, uh, unsupervised brand, plant-based. So there are a couple in there. Sorry, the, <laughs> the kids just got here and the dogs are excited. A box of cereal, um, a box of oranges. This is my crate, this didn't come from there, but 
um, a bunch of coffees and Scooby snacks. Usually they give it to you in boxes. I'm not really sure why they're like a, a box of scattered about. The bottles of wine here, um, Rosé, they were $5 a piece, so I did grab two of them. I've never drank that brand. I have no idea if it's good or not, so $5 was a pretty good price. These potatoes were also included in the $67. So that is all for the $67 haul. After that, I did go to, after that, I went to the Middle Eastern Market um, because I wanted to grab a couple of things, and this is normally what I go there for pepper paste. So hot pepper paste, mild pepper paste. Um, I use these in a lot of recipes. I think I even have one out for you on my chicken kebabs that I use this in. Um, the mild pepper paste I use in that one, but they are really good and they go a long way. Tomato paste. I usually buy this at my Middle Eastern store. I do you, you know, purchase the, the small ones, but this goes a lot further and this jar is $2 for all this tomato paste. I like it. I just keep it in the fridge. It lasts a long time. I did get some pomegranate molasses and some date molasses. I like those and you can use them in a lot of different things. Canned hummus. One of my close friends is Armenian and she actually taught me how to make hummus and she uses this. Instead of pureeing the chickpeas yourself, this is already pureed. They do put a little bit of tahini in there, but not a lot. So you got to add tahini to it. I use, I like the small tahini jars. If you get the big ones, I don't tend to always use all of it and then I waste some. So I buy the small ones. Shelf stable cream in a can. Vanilla powder. Shelf stable cheese in a can. This one is cheddar and it's made by Kraft. This one is happy cow. custard powder and then just because these were there uh, dark chocolate cake bites okay here's my other little bit this was more of a fun haul so not really a stock up kind of thing but we went to where do we go what is this world market world market we went to world market <laughs> I couldn't remember it was somewhere. yeah I wanted to get these so these are imported from Germany. They're the pork frankfurter and the vice versa. Uh, I do buy the bigger jars usually of the sausages. They're so good. Anyway, so I went there for these, but I ended up with some sumac, some little cheddar wheels, a can of Devon custard, a, can, a little jar of clotted cream. This is bacon jalapeno cheese dip. I have no idea how it is, but it was on the clearance and I thought, okay, for a clearance item, I'll buy. And then dark chocolate sea foam. Well, I call it sea foam, but honeycomb candy. I love those. And I needed measuring spoons. I seem to have broken all my glass pioneer measuring, pioneer woman measuring spoons. So I got these and I got some wood ones. So cute those prices went up FYI so that's it that is from my haul this tiny little haul at world market world market isn't that affordable for this kind of stuff um, this was actually $50 so that was more of a splurge haul the Middle Eastern was it $50 or was it less yeah 45 yeah like and the one from the haul from the Middle Eastern store was exactly $50, so I got a lot more from there. And that's it. That was our fun Saturday. All right, the last thing, I totally forgot to film this because I'd already put them in the fridge. Um, I did get two cases in that $67 load of cheese. Um, this one is dairy-free. So a case of the dairy-free cheese, um, which is good because one of... Um, one of our kids is completely dairy free. Um, she actually has an allergy to it. So um, we always have to make a little side of dairy free food. So this is perfect for her. And then we also got a case of goat cheese. The crumbles. 
So these expire in, at the end of the month, so I will probably freeze them. Usually when you eat these, you, you eat them in crumbles anyway, and I freeze uh, feta all the time. So these will freeze just fine. So that is what I'm gonna do with that. Um, the rest of the stuff I actually already divvied up and I sent um, the kids with a bunch of food and they went to their houses and then we had so much lettuce I went around the neighborhood and actually gave lettuce to some of the neighbors so salad party for everybody <laughs> so there you go that is the full haul now the cauliflower the ones that I have left I probably have I don't know eight heads left I am going to I'm going to wash them, cut them up, and I will drop them in boiling water for about 30 seconds, pull them out, cool them off, and then I'm going to freeze them so that I have them available. And then the mangoes I am going to cut and just put in freezer bags. Um, those are good for margaritas by the pool in the summer. Also, mango sorbet. And I just got a new ice cream maker, so I can't wait to make some mango sorbet. Um, I do have a bunch of oranges and a bunch of lemons as well. So I'm probably going to do some muffins and things like that and put them in the freezer. Um, I know I can freeze the juice and cubes. I've done that for years, but I don't really need any right now. So I'll find other uses for them. In the snap peas, I am also going to um, drop those in boiling water for 30 seconds, let them cool, freeze them, bag them up so that I have those as well. So those will come and go into freezer stash. The mushrooms I am putting in the dehydrator today. All right, that was our haul. It was super fun just shopping around and it was nice to just go to the world market just to look around and pick up some fun stuff. So we had a good day and I got some stuff for my cupboard and I got some stuff to prep. So now I gotta get busy divvying this stuff up and prepping. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.